Hey, let's wait for some people to get here. What's up? How's it going? It's dark in here. There we go. That's a lot better. All right. So fair warning. If you're here, then how's it going? How you doing? You have a good time? Bum, 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 bum. Hang on. If you're here, hold on. Turn this out. What's up? We are live on the YouTubes right now. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. I'll wait for people to come say hi. If you're here, comment that you're here. Share it to all your friends. Let's see how many people we can get on this stream today. What's up, Allie? It's been a long time since you've been here. Hi, hi. Uh, make sure you share it to everybody. Let everybody know that we're live tonight. Uh, it's Thirsty Thursday. Because I'm thirsty. <laughs> Actually, no. Um, I'm just kind of sitting here. Kids are all still awake. So I figured I'd come in here as I could. I was going to do it yesterday, but uh, red wine and blue mom. Uh, she took priority. So we're here. How's it going? Haven't seen you in one of my streams in a while, but then again, I haven't streamed in a while. So just making sure this tweet went out the right way. Good, 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 good. Now, I shared this on Twitter, but I don't think it went. It did go. Okay, cool. And my phone's got 14% left. Ah. So if you're here, comment in the chat. Let me know you're here. I see Allie's here. I'm not sure who else is here, but I know someone else is here. You're stalking much. Um, last time I was live, I got uh, some hate in the chat. I had people in here that should not be on YouTube. I'm pretty sure there were bots. Five or six of them got thumbs down. I got all kinds of Bad things in the chat. It was rough. I'm assuming you can hear me okay. If you're answering, I have a light over here that's blinding. Oh, there it is. Oh, my glasses. Ooh, they're a robot. Gotta love the glasses. What's up, job? Blah, blah, blah. Actually, there's a song called Blah, Blah, Blah. Who does I think it's. Um, Not Zed. It's oh man. Hang on. Armin Van Buren. Blah blah blah. It's good stuff. Blah blah blah. Hey, I got your comment, Kayla. I see that you're here. Thank you for coming by. <laughs> I know you're really really busy. Oh. Hey, I gotta sit in this chair. Ah, oh. guys, if you don't have one of these chairs, the secret lab chairs, go get one. Okay, this one has a pillow on it. I got the Titan. It's the one that's got the T on the back. Oh, this makes sense. It sounds like that. Oh, blah blah blah. <laughs> yeah, I listen to that blah 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 song in my car. And my kids know what it is. So now my two year old asks, "Hey, blah blah blah." So it's. Even when they say yeah, 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 it's just all over the place. And my daughter's coming to say hi, I bet. So here she comes. Boo boo. You're supposed to be in bed. What are you doing? Huh? You're done? 
You're done in bed? Huh? You're done in bed? Uh -huh. You're supposed to be in bed. Because oh. why? That doesn't make any sense. Say hi. 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 She's supposed to be sleeping, but she's not. Hi. 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 You gonna go get in bed? No. Okay. I'm done. I'm done. You're done sleeping? No. Then go keep that. What's this? No. Okay, I'm fine. done. I'm done. Peek a boo. Peek a boo. Need that. And my headphones. Headphones. Well, I'm saying what I'm saying. Yeah. Headphones. Yeah. Headphones. I know I need some manly decor. This is just the decor, decor, the decor I have. Stop judging me. No. It's how I am. That's how it is. I don't have a say. Oh, my green screen, my lights, my, well, Why? this light, my light right here, it's a ring light. I bring it up every time I make a video from the garage. Right. So my green screen is in my the garage. White? The white? So if you guys watched my channel a long time right. ago, well, a couple Daddy. months ago in the winter. Hold on. My channel from a while ago, mm -hmm. I actually have green screen videos, but I took all those videos I made in the garage, and it was so cold. Hi. Something manly in the background. I was putting an American flag there. Hi. Me. Who's that? She's watching herself in the live stream. What? I'm doing. We're sitting here talking to people. You gonna say hi to everybody? Uh-huh. Say hi. Hi. No, hi. No. Okay, fine. No, hi. We're not. Bye. Bye. Mm. Ah, puppy. Ah. Puppy. What, you see a puppy? Uh-huh. I didn't see no puppy. That was a watch. Oh, no. Oh. Look at her hair. It wasn't a ponytail. But it's not no more. <laughs> so what's everybody doing tonight? You guys having a good Thursday? Or wherever you are, it should still be Thursday. I don't know. Uh, huh? You gonna go in bed with Sissy? You just gonna lay here with me? Okay. What? Where? Yeah. When? Why? What? 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 Oh, the light? No. no. Right. What? I had a giant husker flag up for a long time. I had the skull and crossbone black uh, black shirts flag. And uh, like I said, every single video, I take it back down. So I just got tired of it. I got tired of covering stuff up. Hold on. I got tired of covering stuff up. I just, I just leave that up. I mean, it's in the dining room. I'm sitting at my dining room table. Can you uh, go get in bed? That's my chair, my pillow. Yeah, it's a secret labs chair, guys. And if you guys want one, go get one. They huh? accept payment plans. Go, go. Uh -uh. Say bye. Bye. Say bye. Bye. Okay, go. <laughs> so yeah, they accept payment plans through Affirm, I think. And um, basically, you go in there, you click pay with a firm, and then a firm will approve you. And now she's getting in the fridge. Ha! <sighs> ha! <sighs>
Hang on one second. Look at this chair and the beautiful manly decor. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I do want to get a giant husky flag and stuff like that, but I have one, like I said, and I used to have the skull and crossbones up, but people are like, are you a pirate? What is that? Are you satanic? You support the devil? Like, the amount of crap, I have a flag out here outside, and someone commented saying, like, or not commented, but they told uh, either me or Jess that um, they thought I was some antichrist or something like that because I had a flag up that had a skeleton on it, and it was just the skull and crossbones for the black shirts. So, I mean, ugh, that's what happens. Emma did not get in her bed. She's in the living room eating goldfish. I did say, yep. Yeah. I wasn't here when they, I think they told Jess, I wasn't here, and they said, like, can you guys take that down? And I came home, and then it was, like, in the garage or, like, in our entryway. And now there is a different Husker flag out there. I put the American flag up there occasionally. But I want to make sure that I have it lit. You got your Husker shirts? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I went, I went in. Yeah, you eat your goldfish. Who do you? When I was in Nebraska, I spent a lot of money at Husker Hounds. I mean, a lot of money. <laughs> <clears throat> but this is the live stream on Thirsty Thursday with Chris Gillen Vlogs. And I'm trying to come up with... Um, some ideas. Um, I know the videos I made with the CBD and the hemp and stuff like that. People seem to really like the CBD joint video, but I can't do that every single video. And that one's got over 300 views. So I'm trying to figure out, oh, ugh, I see it. Here, go get them. Go get them. Go get your goldfish. I'm trying to figure out what you guys want to see because I've heard things from you have amazing editing skills. You have high energy. You have the presence of a giant YouTuber like with millions of subscribers. That's how you act. But I'm at 1181, 1182, 1179, 1181, 1182, 1179, every other day. And the views, like let's take, for instance, today I posted a video today at 3 p.m. Eastern time, right? It has 10 views on it. Now, a video I posted, um, BarkBox, 19, Get Ready With Me, 32, Home Plato, 15, CBD, 357. So I don't understand protein, 30, daiquiri, 51, a race. Like my average for like a video that I make, how to vlog, crunch M&Ms, blah, blah, blah. It's between like 30 and 60 views tops. But then I make one for like CBD or a hemp. I mean, look, I have an entire hemp backpack, guys. <laughs> This is my backpack, and what it is, it has a little piece of Velcro here. It's got a pocket. It's got another pocket with it. There was a GoPro in there, but it holds my mouth. And then this pocket in here has a little flap with a notebook, and it has some ideas for videos. And then it has a pen holder and my hard drive. But I can't do that every video. It's got hemp lotion and everything. There's hemp everywhere. I can't do that every single video. I can't do a CBD. Goldfish got you. Goldfish got stuck? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what's in my bag? I just told you guys what's in my bag. A laptop, a headphone, a charging cable, uh, a hard drive. <laughs> Will you stop coughing? You're just coughing to cough now. Stop it. Stop. Uh, a GoPro mount, a GoPro mount, a GoPro light. Lots of GoPro attachments, thumb drives, battery cell, and um, oh no, oh no, 
It removed your fourth flight. That's what's in my bag. Will you stop it? You're just doing it to do it now. You see a camera and you start acting all crazy. <coughs> okay. Go get your goldfish. Stop. Stop. Kids are great. Sit down and eat them. Sit down and eat them. She's going to join me at the table with her goldfish. So apparently, oh, hey, YouTube is making the bell not work and people don't get notified as they have been making it seem like you unsub and I had to get resub to people. I know. YouTube openly admitted that even if you click the bell, even if you click the bell and even if you're subscribed, YouTube will not notify you that I have posted a video. They say, we're going to notify the people that we believe will watch your video, regardless if they push the bell or subscribe. I'm sorry, but if they subscribe and they push the bell, then obviously they want to see my video. At least I hope they do. But I don't know. And what's up, Blake? How's it going? Everybody, calm down. Blake's here. Everybody, calm down. But I wanted to come in here, and I just want to get you guys' opinions. I know I've been freaking out about, like, hey, I'm going to get watched time up by October 12th. And the only reason I want to get my watch time up by October 12th is because October 12th, I lose like 14,000 minutes of watch time because for some reason I had a video take off that day. I don't know why. Um, I have one scheduled for tomorrow to come out at 3 p.m. Eastern. I am going to record another one either tonight or tomorrow. It's already 1030. I don't really want to record it tonight. I want to walk. Well, I've recorded it, but I have to edit it. Um, it has to do with hemp again. And then the next one I have... <gasps> I looked on YouTube for a good 30 minutes today, trying to see if anybody else has hinted to this, made a video about this, or said anything like this. I'm not sure if it's not there because it's to YouTube, but I kind of want to make a video about it. YouTube isn't dying. YouTube is killing the small channels. So basically, if they can't make money off of you, they don't want you on their platform clogging up the platform. That's what I see. Like, I know I see it. You're coloring a picture. Good job. But if YouTube's not making any money off of you, I don't think they want you on their platform. So all these big YouTubers, they post one video or, you know, one video and it gets 10 million views in a week. And we post a video and we're lucky if it gets 100 views in a, a year. So they can't put ads on our videos. The only reason we're there is for Phil. We flutter. Like it's where the end of year. We uploaded a billion videos every year. Well, what part of that? Well, what they don't understand is all the small YouTubers spend most of their day on YouTube watching other YouTubers. Even though we bust our asses. I mean, I'm at work all day long. Yeah, you're drawing pictures. Good job. I'm at work all day long and I listen to music, but I also have YouTube on because I'm looking at other kinds of videos. I'm watching how they interact. I'm seeing what they do. And it's like looking in a mirror. <laughs> I, I watch a lot of Shane Dawson. I've watched him because I wanted to see where he started and how he has progressed and how he's morphed his channel. The boy doesn't have a niche. He doesn't have, like, what exactly he, I mean, he has a series. Like, he'll go from cooking in the kitchen, and then he'll have his ghost stories, and then he'll have this. And he'll just have a regular talking, I'm trying to better somebody else and help somebody else out in their life. But me, I go from cooking with my kids to a product review to a vlog, and it's kind of the same thing. But I don't have a series that I can talk to you guys about. And I don't know what to do, and I don't want to <coughs> stop posting. But it feels like I put so much time and effort into these videos and me and the kids spend hours trying to make a video that doesn't get viewed by more than 15 people. It feels like every single view we're trying to get, we have to fight and dig down. Like I have 700 people on my Facebook. I have 830 people on my Twitter. I have over a thousand on my Instagram and over a thousand on YouTube and I'm getting 30 views. I don't know how that works. 
Alex Wasabi did get big with Wasabi Productions and Roy, but he did, uh, like, fake, uh, what is it called? Daddy, coming. Like, the parodies, like, he would sing a song It's a parody. Well, if we did that now as a parody and we had the music playing in the background, we would get copyright faster than we can hit upload. So I don't think that his original videos that he uploaded are even still paying him. Granted, he gets enough money as it is from sponsors and everybody else. Daddy! But Roka. you're making dots. She's drawing hearts and dots all over the picture. But I'm even trying to build my Instagram up because I got declined by a sponsor two days ago because my Instagram engagement wasn't high enough. It needs to be 5%. And last I checked, it was 1.4% engagement. Daddy! What, baby? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. That's in kid language. If you guys understood it, let me know. So let me check my engagement right now. Per my Instagram influencer engagement, I'm at 1.37 engagement. Average interactions per post 15 likes and one comment. So it needs to be a 5%. Daddy, Apparently, I just need to put a bikini on and send that out. I don't know. This has kind of gone all over the place with this video. Go, go. I just now put my email for business inquiries on my YouTube, on my Instagram. I have CJ Affiliate that wants to sponsor, like they send out <coughs> random sponsors go. to me, like go. travel companies and pet Companies. I got one for a CBD company, but I'm not going to use them because I use the local company here. Um, I don't know. I haven't gotten very many sponsors, whatever. I uh, typically email them and ask them or I apply, but then they're like, well, your engagement's not high enough or you don't get enough views. Well, I'm sorry. I'm just posting what I can. I've reached out before, like I've had Mission Belt and I've had Pipcorn. Oh, no. uh, you check your engagement by going to Google and typing Instagram engagement calculator. And it brings up Phalanx at P-H-L-A-N-X. And it's Flex, Flex, I don't know. It's this. See, Flex.com. And then you type in your username into here. And it'll tell Blake, what's your username on Instagram? I can't remember what it is. I know it's Blake something. Right? What, what is it? On Instagram. Oh, what's your what's your Instagram handle? Hang on. Oh there you go. He's supposed to use that. Fucking idiot. Wait one. East Coast, East. Bro, you're at 4.63%. 17 likes and one comment. But here's the difference. Okay, I think I know what it is. I think I know what it is. You have 356 posts, right? I have 600 posts. So even though we have the same amount of um, likes, roughly, per whatever maybe, then since I have a lot more, it skews it. Okay, hang on, John. Let me get this. John, then you. Yeah. John, you're at 4.45. So you're good. You got 29 likes and two comments per. So that's good. What's up, Eric? We're going over Instagram engagement and how mine's like at 1.4, and so far everybody else's is at like 4.5. So, yeah, Ja, if you get yours up just a little bit, you can uh, get sponsored by Barkbox. Daddy, a peek. A peek. 
Well, that is Pete. And Bruno. You're all getting nosy, aren't you? Hang on. Yours is just red, white, and blue mom, right? Every time. Okay, you have. Girl, I'm not even going to show you yours. You put everybody to shame. 9.1, Tiff. Ah. Eric, you say that when your girl is slaying the Instagram, okay? Ah. <laughs> so, uh, Tiffany, you can go get sponsored by BarkBox. You meet their threshold of 5.0 engagement on Instagram. Oh, my <laughs> face. You have no followers. You have 617 followers. 617. Oh, wait, yeah, you need a thousand subscribers, a, a thousand followers too. So <laughs> the problem is with mine is I have 600 pictures in there and I can go all the way back to 2012. I had 650. I deleted 50 pictures. I went from like a 3% engagement to a 1.2 because I lowered the average. Regardless, this isn't about Instagram. Um, this is about YouTube. We're on YouTube right now. We love YouTube. Most days I have a very good idea for a video I want to do. I'm not going to say it because I think that everybody somewhat believes it. And like I said, I searched on YouTube for a good 30, 45 minutes today for everything that I'm thinking about doing. And there was nothing on YouTube about it. What? Instagram is a job. This I love doing. The only time I consider it a job is when I'm trying to film with the kids sometimes because the kids are running around like crazy. So it's just hard. Like they want to be in a part of the videos. They want to make stuff. They want to do this. But then when we're like doing a cooking video that you have to put something in the oven and then you have to come back an hour later or we have to come back later on. If it's not all like one hit wonder, then they don't want to be a part of it. Or they do, but they get tired or they get bored or whatever it may be. But I love YouTube. What the what you see, it's not the body language. You see the demoralization of when, like I said, I've worked on something so bad or so hard and it's not getting the views that I want it to get. Or it's not getting what I think I would get, you know? It's just one of those things where there's a video that I make and it gets 400 views and there's a video I make that gets 30 and it's got my kids in it. So I think me and Tiffany were talking about this the other day. It's like, look at my kid. My kid is there. But at the same time, I still treat it like a job aspect because I used to be monetized. I, I never got an Daddy. official paycheck. Ah. Yum. Boogie more. I used, I never got an official paycheck from YouTube. Uh, so you just say you treat it like a job too. I treat it like a part-time gig. Because um, it's not an app. You just Google um, Instagram engagement calculator, and it takes you to a URL, and it's like P-H-L-A-N-X. But I also have a full-time job. So I work 40-plus hours a week. I have three kids, and then I try to upload a video almost daily. Oh, got to get the goldfish. I try to upload a video almost daily, and now I'm to the point where I'm scheduled out for tomorrow. I have one scheduled for August 4th, so I have to edit a video I filmed tonight. No, Daddy does not like goldfish. <laughs> Hi, Amy. Hi, Nana. <laughs> Nana. I, I love YouTube. No. This is, like, you guys are more friends than I have here in town. I don't have people in town except for like my coworkers. My coworkers are really good friends. I have one friend, like my best friend, that's hours away from me. And then I'm a thousand miles away from where I grew up. So I, you guys um, are what I have. Um, um, <sighs> Three times, okay. Almost daily. Like I have posted quite a bit in the last week and a half. But I tried to get four or five videos a week. If I do three times a week, 
raise the engagement with the videos. <laughs> I might. I might back it off to three or four times a week. Because, like you said, I'm not getting the engagement. I'm not getting the views. I'm not getting... It's like people are like, oh, you uploaded another one. I even changed up my intro. Like, I posted a video this morning. Oh, hey, hush, honey. Honey, please. We're, we're making a video. I posted, I quit smoking this morning, and I changed my intro. Well, it's not my old, it's my old intro. I just made it shorter, so people are like, oh. Blake, we have talked about this. You said, let the kid do your makeup. Bro, I don't have makeup. <laughs> but uh, she do. Hang on one second. Oh, my son was talking to me. I am going to concentrate on the quality and the content. And like I said, I have a really lower. I have a really good video idea um, about YouTube. Um, I like the 48 hour thing. Kids can do my makeup. If someone if I posted kids do my makeup, would you all watch? Because the last time I wore makeup was like freshman year for a musical. <laughs> Also, whoever's got a puppy, I told Tiffany about this the other day. In the bottom of every single one of my descriptions, there is best bully sticks. There's a link there. These things, man, these dogs will chew on these things for hours. And they love these things. Eric, you don't need to encourage this video, man. Does that make... Kids pick my outfits. I wear the same damn thing every week. I have like 10 shirts and like three pairs of shorts or pants. I have a schedule like every other day with a content video and once a week to do a long live stream to connect with your audience. Is this connecting? Do you guys feel like you're in part of my family? Because like you guys are the closest family I have to where living here other than the in-laws. I'd have to like shave down a bit and clean up my face for the makeup video. I think you guys are right. I think I need to calm down. As a matter of fact, I meh, I have a video scheduled to go live tomorrow at 3 p.m. And since you guys are on my live stream, I will show you the thumbnail. Eric, if we live closer, we'd have so many bro days. Bro. Except for the fact that I, um, not, I, mm, the, the football team, it's the Huskers, bro. Through and through, you can't, you can't have a, you know, mm -mm, nope, Huskers. All right, so let me show you guys the thumbnail. I'm not sure if this is backwards or not, so let me show you the thumbnail for the next video I have. Okay, All right. So here is the thumbnail I have for the next video. I have it scheduled for 3 p.m. tomorrow. If I need to push it back until Saturday, I might. Is it backwards or is it the right way? Wow, I look like crap in this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> look at that mouth. Whew. It's all washed out of my camera. <laughs> it's washed out. Okay, if it's the right way, then there. Bristol, Tennessee, barbecue nachos from Cootie Browns. This looks like I am a ghost. Hey, these are good. Let me look at them. Oh, yeah. Look at that barbecue nachos. All right. So this is the video I have to go live tomorrow at 3. Should I push it back to Saturday? And the 3 p.m. slot 
did not work for me. <laughs> I posted a video today at three, and the whole day I'm like, come on, when does it go live? When does it go? So Saturday. Well, why push it? Because I feel like, okay, so this week I have uploaded. Here we go. Um, what is this? And I wish I had these dates on here. So homemade Play-Doh, get ready with me. Dogs love bark box, making hand brownies, and I quit smoking. I posted a video every single day for a while. Yeah, <laughs> that was yesterday. <laughs> I'm sitting here eating my nachos, and all of a sudden, get ready, you live, and then Tiffany goes live. <laughs> so my question is, is my thread or my channel too saturated? Is there like a video, 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 video? If I take the break and push it back to Saturday, please hold. Sorry, had to take a call. <sighs> Emma, come here. Don't let me come here. All right. So I need your opinion. Should I push it back to Saturday or should I let it come up tomorrow at three? You'll play a game? Uh -huh. That game doesn't work. That's a Nintendo DS. Blake, the big YouTubers that we watch, and I know Shane is one of them, their content has gotten a lot better, and they work on it and work on it and work on it and work on it and work on it. And I'm not sure if it's just me. Like, I don't rush to get videos out. Like, I, I have a video that I can edit right now, but I'm quick at it. Like, I edit really quickly because it's basically the same thing. I insert my clip, I cut out what I don't need, and I put music behind it and go. But I don't have the storylines i don't have the friends i don't have the whatever that they have i have what i have what you guys see is what i got i work 40 plus hours a week and i try to make as much content for you guys because <clears throat> there are videos that i record that you guys don't see i record edit them and then delete them because i it's not good it's choppy it's bad and <laughs> there are babies yelling um and Blake, I appreciate that. Nachos were fantastic. I'm really glad that most of you guys have kids. You guys know exactly how this feels. Have another goldfish. Have another goldfish. No. Okay, fine. You see, that's what's best about this is the mic is always on. Like, I hit record, mic is on. But I have got it to, like... Every single time I upload a video, you'll see one view, and that's typically me because I posted it to YouTube before, and I hit upload, and I hit unlisted, and I was waiting for it, and then I hit play, and there was no sound. And it's because right as I was getting ready to export, fuck oh, me, <laughs> right as I was getting ready to export, I muted one of my audio lines, and then I exported it out. Mom's on her way home, so as soon as mom walks in that door, I'm pretty sure this is going to be done, just because. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. You guys need, all right, so Bristol, Tennessee has a race for NASCAR, like August 17th, which is my birthday. So if you guys haven't entered that birthday contest, do it. Um, a lot of people, like 80 people have entered, which is funny because 80 people haven't done what they're supposed to do to enter. I think I got spammed and botted but I can't filter it out. So if I pick a winner and then it's like someone that's not real, one of y'all are probably going to win a $30 gift card. I'm saying. 
<laughs> I think you did too, but you know, <laughs> all y'all gonna win a thirty dollar gift card. At least one of you guys are because my ass turned thirty. Q depressing. You know, before I hit go live, she didn't say a word. <laughs> before I hit go live, she was quiet. Ah, ring light. Before I hit go live, there was no sound in this house. Before I hit go live, my son was in his bed. Mom's on her way home. Go get in bed. Okay. Okay, let me get back on the couch. I'm right down an idea. Hmm. Did you not just see the nacho picture? No. <laughs> that is from a local business in town. No. No, you didn't see it? No. Okay. This is a local restaurant in town. It's right here. Tootie Browns. I'm popular. <laughs> The Heim. The Heim. The Um, yeah, nachos are life, bro. Bye, Amy. Thank you. I appreciate it. I have a lot of videos. Go watch them all. Love you. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Amy. Oh, man. What the? John, that's, that's the problem. All right, so I've been doing videos since November 2016, I think is when I uploaded my first that Uber video or my kids dancing around to, you know, EDM, um, hard style music. I have videos from eight years ago. I uploaded to YouTube. Should have stayed, should have stayed there, <laughs> should have posted more, but I never did. I, I did four videos on YouTube and I never looked back because I got distracted with life where I was. I was more interested in riding my motorcycle around and being an idiot and going out drinking and stuff like that versus building a network. And in retrospect, I could have been very profitable and I could have been a lot bigger than I am now. And I could have had a lot more fun doing it. And the sad part is, is I've always been kind of like a spotlight kind of guy. I've always been like in the limelight. I have no problem talking to anybody. I have no problem walking around carrying my camera like an idiot downtown i have no problem doing this and yelling at my camera and people are like wow you're crazy Chris. yeah well crazy is 2018 so when i sit down to do a video oh in my God, titan secret lobs chair that lays almost all the way back i it sometimes it kills me sometimes it doesn't but it also makes it easier because i'm here in a controlled yeah. environment except for those <laughs> Ah, except for kids. Kids are great. Love them. Pat on the back, Chris. You have three. But stop it. Stop. Like this video if you have kids. Ah. All right. We've been live for 43 minutes. I've tried to go as live as long as I can. Blake, let's do it, bro. What do you want to do? <laughs> DM me an idea. Let's go. Four and a half hours away from me. Um, you're driving, bro. <laughs> Remember, I did that challenge. Remember, I think, Jaw, I think you were the only person that did the challenge that I created. Um, it's like a live stream, but we called it a challenge, and it was a vlog with no edits. Can you upload a video? to YouTube without editing anything. No music, no cuts, no nothing. No meal. Meal. No. Okay. No. You want a pen? No. Uh -huh. You drive 10 hours a day? 
Like, let me guess. You drive 10 hours a day, and it's not farther than, like, 100 miles. You just can lay it in one spot. Dude, I drive to work, and then I... Yeah, the no edit challenge. That was fun. That was great. Didn't go anywhere. I think me and you were the only ones that did it. Thank you. Also, somebody made me do a Dotinaman challenge. D-O-T-I-N. I don't know. It's um, Dotinaman. Dotinaman? I don't know. It was... What was it? Cinnamon crackers. I can't remember what it was, but I did the challenge. I success. Oh, wait, donuts, cinnamon, and um, saltines. So powdered donuts, saltines, and cinnamon. And I did every single one. He was like, you have to have this many of this, this many of this, this many of this, and eat it all within three minutes. And then I asked him, I was like, what are the rules? And he said, you have to eat them all within three minutes. That's it. Make sure you record the whole thing. No cuts. And I did. And I did it, and I think, Jolly, you remember this. I completed this challenge, and as soon as I posted it on the onto my channel, and I said I got it, he changed the rules and said you can't stack them. Like I can't put cinnamon on top of a cracker. I have to do cracker, 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 cinnamon, and then like a donut. I can't have something in my mouth. My mouth has to be empty before I do the next. He was just mad because I passed the test, he passed the challenge, and he did. Okay, if you tell me that I have to do all of this stuff within three minutes, then guess what? Mother mouth did all of it within three minutes, and he was just all salty about it. By the way, his video for the Dotinaman challenge, 5,000 views. My video, like 150. Like, <laughs> I don't know. So, I need your guys' opinion. Should I post that video tomorrow at 3, or should I post it Saturday at 3? I have another video I'm going to edit here as soon as I'm done live streaming with you guys. It's another hemp video. But uh, hemp is life, bro. And if you guys were here, I would do a uh, another CBD joint video. The company gave me another one today. It's a different brand. They wanted me to try it. So I want to... That's great. So if you guys were here, I would do like YouTubers try CBD joints. But you guys, you guys are... Come on down to Bristol. Race NASCAR stuff August 17th, 30th birthday. You guys can come down. We can go to the race. I have nowhere for you guys to stay. <laughs> So if you come down, flights are expensive, hotels are more, and there's like 80,000 people in a little coliseum. Yay. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to get off of here. Um, Jess is going to be home in a minute. She has homework she has to do. It's due like in 45 minutes, and she's got to write a paper because procrastination is the best. Um, thank you guys for tuning into this video. I really appreciate each and every single one of you guys. Um, more than you know, Jay. Blake, blah, blah, blah. Ja, Blake, uh, Tiff, Eric, Amy, you guys, it's fine. You don't have to be on time. On time is late, late is dead. You know, it's no big deal. Um, Cora, thank you for coming in here. Kayla, thank you for coming in here. Everybody, thank you for being in this stream. Um, it's not, I didn't get 50 people. I got like five or six. The reason oh, I said Jay is because... <laughs> I'm looking over here to the side. I have a split screen up and I'm scrolling through Twitter and I, I don't know what I saw. I really don't. But Ja, my bad. You have been here since like day one when my channel officially took off when they told us that demonetization day is coming, D-Day, which I made a pretty good video about that too. Um, Tiffany, if you haven't seen that video, go watch it. It's about D-Day, demonetization day. And I did it like we were getting bombed in World War II. Um, anyways, guys, uh, until next time, take care, guys.